far. So we finished with the first workings calculation of the overhead absorption rates. Now, after you calculate the overhead absorption rates, you now have to calculate the total overheads for the product. So stay with me closely because I'm going to be doing something here. I will just talk it or I will just say it, but make sure you follow me to understand. Now, I'm going to need some of the things on the board here, so I'm not going to clean that as much. So I, I, so I was calculating the overhead absorption rates. I, I is to calculate the total overhead. So look at how we go about it. OP, MP, CP. So let's go. What was the first cost item? Machine setup cost, right? Before I continue, I said IS is to go calculate what? Is it? No, you mentioned I and I, I, Yes, the first one thing we did was I. Mm -hmm. And that was the overhead absorption rate. Until the I in now was working as I. Okay, oh, okay. Do you get it? Uh -huh. Then the I, 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 the I, I is the overhead is now about the calculator. Oh. So now let's go. I said I'll be making a statement here, but I will not be. Uh, multiplying as well. What was the machine setup cost per whatever? The first workings we did. What was it? The overhead absorption rate for machine setup. The first workings. 8149 per batch. 8149 per batch, right? Yeah. So, OP. How many badges did OP do? 12.5. Can you see that? Yes. So to get a figure for the machine setup cost for OP, you multiply that by what? 12.5. To get for MP, you multiply that by 6.15. To get for CP, you multiply that by 15.71. That was what I was saying. That I'll just say it, but I'm not going to be multiplying it, but that's how you go about it. So whatever rate you calculated, you'll be using it to what? Multiply the things that you have here, respectively. So multiply for me, and let's see how it goes. So 8149 times 12.5. So let's work to the nearest thousand. Three. Three. Okay. Then MP is 6.15. So the same thing. Times 6.15. Five zero one one six. The same thing times 15.71 for CP. One two eight zero two one. One two eight zero two one. Okay. So that's it for the machine setup cost. When you add the three, it should give you the total machine setup cost of two hundred and eighty thousand approximately. When you add the three, it should give you that, and I think it will. Just when you add this three, when you add this three, it should give you the machine setup cost there two hundred and eighty thousand in the first thing. Because that's what you are allocating. That's what you are allocating. Then we come to the second one. Machine ordering cost. What was the thing for machine ordering cost? 2264 per what? Purchase order. 2264 per purchase order. The question is, how many purchases orders did OP do? Did MP do? Did CP do? So we go. OP did how many purchase orders? 50. It's here. So 2264 times what? 50. That's giving, that will give us the OP. 2264 times 30.71 will give us MP. 2264 times 62.81. That will 
that will give us the CP. So let's multiply respectively and get a machine ordering cost, MOC. So 2264 times 50. One one Then next one. Thirty point seven one times the same thing. Six nine five two seven. Six nine five two seven. Last one. Sixty two point eight one times the same thing. One four two two zero two. So that is how you get your overheads for MOC. Third one, machine running cost. Let's go. Machine running cost, we did the workings here, and that is 11.22 per machine hour. 11.22 per machine hour. Now, we have to ask ourselves how many machine hour respectively the products did. OP did 15,000 machine hours, so you multiply. MP. 8,800, CP, 15,400, so you multiply respectively, and let's get our answer now. So 15,000 times 11.22. Then, 8,800 times the same thing. 9, 8, 7, 3, 6. Then, 15,400 times the same thing. 172,788. Okay, that's the third one. Then the last one is General Facility Cost, GFC. What is that? 9.57 per ABASI machine R. So the same thing. We will use the same machine, so we multiply respectively. 9.57 times 15,000, 9.57 times 8,800, 9.57 times 15,400. So let's multiply and get our answer down, because that is also based on machine hours. Times for the 15,000. Yes. For OB. One four three five five zero. Next one, the same thing times eight eight hundred. Eighty four two one six. The same thing times fifteen four hundred. One four seven three seven eight. Good. So we are done, but we are not done. So we add all respectively to get our total overhead. <laughs> that is activity based costing. <laughs> so let's add them respectively and get a total Overhead. Five nine zero 
3 is 9. Now, because we are calculating the full cost per unit, we will now divide these respectively by the units. Have you just seen something from your No, we, you have already done that. Okay, so before the MRC. MRC is material, is it material? Machine running cost. So we, which was, that was? That was this, 11.22 times these respectively. Okay. So budgeted units, we already have them here, and they were given in the question 10,000, 8,000, and then 11,000. So what do you do? You divide. So divide that by your overheads that we have there, and that gives us the overheads per unit, which is what we are looking for. <laughs> This is what we are after before we come and calculate the full cost. So look at the whole time we have, we have used to do these workings. We are dealing with nine marks here. So you have to work with speed and accuracy. Otherwise, 53.67, that's the last one. 53.67 Multi choice functions. We have to use like at least 40 seconds for one question. Why you have multi choice also? No, 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 multi choice. Yes, very, very important. That's why I have to build an understanding so that immediately you read a question, you know what is it. You go. 52 69. Wow. Okay, so we're done with the workings. Let's now calculate it. So, full cost per year. And the ABC, which is what the examiner said we should do. OP, NP, CP. The, the thing will be the same, so just give me the prime cost. What was the prime cost respectively? So the prime cost from A. 55. 64. 46. 46. Then the overheads is the workings we've done. Do you want to hear any now? This overhead. That's what we have. 52.69, 37.82, and then 53.67. So add it up, and that gives us the cost. So this is the B part. Yeah, this is the B. This is the big question. The eight activity based cost. It is the any now the brain now only any now is to be able to get this thing. Which is this one. One zero seven five six nine. Nineteen ninety eleven. So one oh one point eight two if I'm right. Yeah. And then nine nine point six seven. So that's it. Nine marks. That's what you were supposed to do. If you add the six to the next one, you get 15. 15. So that is it for activity based costing. So the challenging thing here is the workings involved. For calculating first the overhead absorption rates for each of the cost pool and then using the cost drivers and then the second one is calculating the total overheads to enable you get the cost per unit, the overheads per unit which is what you will bring in computing the full cost. <laughs>